James Bowman here. A lot of questions about the NAVAC charging station, the NRC62D. So we're going to go over it. So for starters, let's do a quick overview. It's a single box. No, it's not a recovery machine. A lot of guys, well, it looks like a recovery machine. It's not a recovery machine. All right. It's a charging station. So I've gone ahead and plugged it in. On board, we have a digital scale. Uh, the digital scale syncs to the machine, but if you don't need the machine, you need a scale. It also comes with a Bluetooth handheld that you can sync to. Stored in the body. It comes with two temperature probes, Bluetooth, to the machine. It comes with three refrigerant hoses and a carrying case because the machine's like 38 pounds. So. That's what we have on board. Now let's take a little bit, uh, take a little look at the operation. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the machine. We're gonna power it up. It's going to go through its initialization. Then it's going to bring up our main menu. On our main menu, we have initial setup, okay? It thinks we've already gone through the initial setup. Yeah, because I've already gone through the initial setup on this particular machine. So we're going to go back to the initial setup and walk through it. We choose our refrigerant type. There's around 25 refrigerants loaded in here. Of course, we're selecting R410A. In this case, uh, vacuum units. We're going to choose microns. Uh, if you're in Canada, you can choose one of those other ones. What is our vacuum target? How low do we want a vacuum? Okay, I've got it pre-set up as 250. I believe it comes from the factory at 500, but you can adjust it um, from one micron to 99,000 microns. Your choice. Wait, again, we're doing pounds here instead of kilograms, but for, uh, for Gary McCready and your buddies up there, you always get kilograms as a choice. Temperature units, again, we're doing Fahrenheit, already set up, uh, PSIG versus uh, BAR and some of these other things that I don't even know what they are, for crying out loud. Zero the low pressure. So if we've already, if we had some residual pressure in here, just like you would zero your, your gauges, you've got that option for the low side and the high side. The scale, again, if we've got some, um, for whatever reason, we've got some residual uh, left there, we can zero our scale. Uh, we can calibrate our vacuum sensor. I'm actually going to walk through a calibration because this thing has been closed up. Uh, so we're going to actually go ahead and calibrate. So if you notice, when you've calibrated that you still have digits or numbers showing, you may need to calibrate again. This does happen occasionally. It's usually the result of some refrigerant being left in the system. So you notice we've ran it twice because of that. But when it's calibrated, you'll see no digits. You'll see all dashes here. Okay, now that we've calibrated our sensor, uh, we can set our vacuum decay. How long do we want to do our decay test? Do we want to do five minutes or 10 minutes? I've got it set up for five minutes. How high of a decay do we want to go? So in this case, I've got it set at 1,000. Target was 250, so this will allow it to go to 1,250 uh, within that five minute period or fail. This is again, this is a fully adjustable. You can take this all the way down to, to, to one micron or all the way up to 99,000 microns. You set it for your job, whatever your parameters are. POE oil, mineral oil, etc. cetera. Um, you're the technician, you decide. The duration of the extended vacuum. Because the micron sensor is located in the machine, we know that when I hit 250 in the machine, my target, that the system, the farthest point in the system is not 250. So we have a preset 30 minute 
target or extended run time. So once it hits the 250, it runs for an additional 30 minutes. Now, you can adjust that. Again, you can run that down to, uh, to under five minutes or you can run up to 99 minutes. You decide how much, how far it's your system, what type of oil you have, how long your pipes are, etc. cetera. Um, so just for example, you can, you know, if I run to run 40 minutes or 20 minutes, you know, you decide. We typically like to do 30 minutes because we see that we think that that kind of maximizes uh, the whole process. Okay, so now we're going to sync the Bluetooth uh, devices. We're going to start with the scale. So I'm going to turn on the scale, press sync on the machine. It's thinking and it synced for box temperature. So now we're going to move down to our high temperature. So on the high temperature, when I first turn it on, our red button, our red light comes on, then it's blinking yellow. So when I go to push sync, it starts flashing green once it's synced to the machine. Now we're going to move down, do the same thing with our low temperature probe. And we're synced. So now our temperature probes and our scale are talking to the machine. So we're going to go back to the main menu.